we will be not talking about a uh, rogue score so rogue score is again very similar to blue and perplexity a very very popular metric which is usually used for benchmarking of llm as well like blue score it also requires a ground truth and blue uh, rogue score is nothing but rogue recall rogue precision rogue f1 so we will be calculating three different metrics within this and we can consider any one of them as a rogue score now rogue score has different variants also and in this particular tutorial we will be talking about all the variants so these are the top variants rogue n rogue l rogue w rogue s rogue su so let's talk about them using an example so that it is more clear to you assuming this is the case we have got ground truth is the cat sat on the mat and the predicted truth is the cat lay on the mat so there is a change of one word rogue n so rogue n is nothing but matching of unigram so it is very similar to uh, the first step of blue that we did so out of the six uh, tokens that we have got for reference and generated text the overlap is of five words hence precision is equal to 5.6 recall is equal to 5.6 you do remember that recall is the denominator is total reference unigram reference is ground truth while for precision the denominator is total generated that is the predicted unigrams do remember this and f1 score is 5 upon 6 because you are taking the harmonic mean as we do in the case of normal statistics so row 1 is easy row 2 is also similar to what we did in n gram precision row 1 and row 2 can be taken as n gram precisions only and that we did in blue so uh, we would be first forming a bigrams bigrams are nothing but pair of consecutive words so the cat cat sat sat on on the similarly and then we will be checking for overlaps which uh bigrams from the generated text are matching with the reference one so we have got three matching text the cat on the the mat hence precision is 3 upon 5 recall is 3 upon 5 f1 is 3 upon 5 5 is the total number of bigrams that were generated from the uh, from the generated text while in case of recall the denominator is coming from total number of bigrams in the generated text uh, do remember this not talking about rog l so rog l has a little difference rog l basically calculates the longest common subsequence so longest common subsequence is a very interesting problem in computer science and mathematics which basically asks you to calculate the sequence that appears in the same order but not necessarily consecutively so basically if in the example you say the cat sat on the mat the cat lay on the mat so here you can see that if you remove the third word from both the cases the cat on the mat the cat on the mat so the sequence is coming in the same order but it is not consecutive that is called as a longest com common subsequence so we would be first of all calculating the longest of, uh, sorry, common subsequence length that is 5 in this case the cat on the mat precision recall f1 score would be calculated similarly lcs length upon generated text length recall lcs length upon reference text length moving on to rog s so rog s uh, is again an extension towards rog 1 and rog 2 that we did measures the overlap of skip bigrams between generated text and reference length so i think in the first case we understood what are bigrams uh, and update to it is skip, skip bigrams so in case of bigrams uh, we were just considering pairs from consecutive words the cat uh, cat the cat set etc in case of skip bigrams we would be uh, pairing up all the words from all the other words in the sentences but in the same order the cat the sat the on the the, the mat so eventually we are picking up the first word and pairing it with all the remaining words then we would be picking up the second word then we will be pairing with the uh, forward coming words in this way we will be forming our skip bigrams so these are all the skip bigrams that we got from the reference and these are all the skip bigrams that we got from the generated text i hope the concept of skip bigrams is clear now these are the overlap pink skip bigrams that we got and similarly precision recall and f1 is calculated now coming to rog su so it is an extension of rog s that includes both skip bigrams as well as unigrams so in this case you saw that there was no unigram considered but in case of rog su uh even unigrams would also be considered uh this is done because there is a loophole in s so rog s focuses on pair of words that appear in both generated and reference text if no such pair exists rog s would be zero 
but eventually assume this particular case that was mentioned in the paper itself the police killed the gunman gunman the killing police basically the second sentence that we have generated it is a reverse of the first sentence but the rogue s would be zero in the case of the second sentence because you uh, it is reverse and eventually the pairing that we will be forming won't be overlapping with anything because the sequence has been changed but if you think would rogue s equals to zero for a second sentence make sense it is uh, rogue s equals to zero implies it is as uh, good as any random sentence like a butcher now it is not that bad the words are matching but not in the right sequence hence uh, once you start considering the unigrams also the recall precision and f1 score for rogue su would be greater than zero and hence that is the whole idea if the sequence is completely distorted in some version still you get some value if the words are correct uh, coming to rogue w uh, rogue weighted longest common subsequence this is a little tricky where instead of using the longest common subsequence we would be calculating weighted longest common subsequence so in case of a low weighted co longest common subsequence what we do we would be rewarding so we would be calculating the value of the weighted wlcs depending upon the most consecutiveness within the longest common subsequence try to understand this assume that this is the reference text a b c d e f g this is the generated text a b c d h i k and the third text the other reference text is other generated text is a h b k c i d now if you look closely the lcs length for the y1 and y2 is same that is 4 because a b c d is going in the same for sequence as in the reference here a b c and d is in the same sequence uh skipping the consecutiveness but if you look into the generated result i think any day y1 is better because the length of the consecutiveness is better it is uh, it has more consecutive matches so rogue w improves this by assigning higher weights to longer consecutive matches so any match like basically any overlap that we get in the generated text which has a longer consecutive match in the longest common subsequence is given higher weightage now consider this particular case for y1 the entire sequence is matching hence consecutive four matches eventually weighted lcs would be not four it would be function in taking four as a value what function i will be talking about that similarly for y2 uh, the matches are a b c d but they are not consecutive each letter is separated hence four sub parts of length equals to 1 so basically we are trying to figure out sub parts within the uh, longest common subsequence and then depending upon the length of these sub parts we are assigning weights now instead of f equal uh, f4 we would be having four functions here f1 plus f1 plus f1 plus s1 because we are having four sub parts within this longest common subsequence where f is a weight assignment function now this weight assignment function can be anything it is of your choice such that f x plus y should be greater than f x plus f y why just see this um, as we wish to assign higher weight to uh, cases where uh, the sub part has more consecutive matches f4 should be greater than f One plus f one plus f one plus f one. This is the case. Y plus uh, x plus y equals to four. F x plus f y. If f of x equals to x square, y one weighted would be four square equals to sixteen. While the weighted LCS for y two would be one square plus one square plus one square plus one square equals to four. Just remember this. We are not calculate. We are not considering the length directly, but the function passing the length as a parameter, and this function is x square. So as the Long, uh, longest sub part consecutive match was four of length four in case of y one. All a b c d was in se in subsequence. So the function uses f of four, that is four square, that is sixteen. Now row w recall would be f inverse weighted LCS of x comma y one upon length of x, while precision would be f inverse. weighted lcs x comma y1 length of y1 this is the equation that we are following now similarly for y2 also you can calculate where f inverse is basically inverse of the fun weighted function that you are using that it would be root x in this particular example this function can be anything uh, don't think it has to just to be x square 
the equation is very similar to what we have been following for recall and precision but just the addition of f inverse in the starting.